So we're making a video here of the Kenwood 891 uh, HD system. As you can see here, we have uh, the basic uh, AM mode where you have one through six stations and FM one through six. And if you hit FM again, you have another six uh, preset stations. Um, if we want to go to a USB or iPod, uh, we hit audio. Sorry, we hit menu and we have HD radio, we could select iPod or we could select USB, which is down here in the glove compartment. You can see you have a uh, iPod cord here and a USB. You just take that uh, top off, you can connect the USB to play your music. And that's all done through uh, the menu function here. You could also select USB for the same thing. And we can go back to menu and select the HD radio. Uh, one more thing, if we go back to the menu, you see these three bars, it slides like your phone, the different menus. Um, Pandora is a service connected, but if you just want to run Pandora through your phone, you're going to hit Bluetooth. You'll use a Bluetooth function to sync anything to your phone. So if you're running audio through your phone, no matter what it is, um, besides calls, calls is automatic. But if you're running any sort of music, if you're listening to uh, any radio stations through your phone, it's through the Bluetooth function. So the ones that I always use is Bluetooth. And I'll use iPod or USB or the radio. And uh, that's it for that. I'll do a quick video here on uh, turning on the antenna. It's pretty simple. Uh, when you're in the uh, radio mode, as you see it there, you just click on audio. And you'll see these icons up here as a switch, and it's already pre-programmed, and you just push the power antenna. And once it's not illuminated, the antenna will lower. And then if you want, uh, obviously, the antenna to go up if you're going to listen to the radio, you just illuminate it and the antenna rises. So I'll make another video here on how to uh, sync the Bluetooth which is pretty easy. Uh, we go to menu and you'll see the setup. And we have eight different categories here. We're going to go to Bluetooth. Um, we actually have a phone here that obviously won't be uh, synced here. As, but I wanted to show you um, for telephone, you have on and off and for audio, you have on and off. Um, I told you that you could sync two phones, so but only one phone can have uh, the designator for audio. So if you were going to listen to uh, a radio station or Pandora or whatever you want to listen to through your phone, if there's two phones in the car, only one phone at a time can uh, stream audio. Both can be connected Bluetooth via uh, for the telephone calls, but for audio, you have to designate one phone or the other. So... Um, since you don't need uh, this phone right here, we can remove it. We'll click yes. And now there's no phones. Uh, once you turn your Bluetooth on, you'll uh, see the uh, setup and then you can uh, sync your phone. And it's pretty simple, it's self-explanatory. You'll see your phone and you'll go through the uh, menu options. I want to do a quick video here just to go over a uh, yeah. Uh, function here for the CD. Uh, there's what looks like an eject button and the entire system comes up and there's a slot there for a single CD. Obviously you can push it back down and it goes right back. Um, I think the question was asked if the door lowers, which it does, and it covers it nicely. And uh, the menu button again for power, if you hold it, it will... Uh, uh, shut off the system. Uh, that's it for that. I'll do a quick uh, video of the panel up here. Um, as you see, you have 51 miles to go. Uh, that's from the trip info button. You could also do uh, your average uh, MPG or uh, miles per hour, but I always leave it on, or you could just not have it there. But I always like uh, looking at how many miles I have to go. Uh, it's pretty pretty accurate. Um, as far as the AC, because this is a small cabin, the, uh, the climate control works really well. Um, if you just hit auto, you can set 
your uh, temperature. There is a split cabin, but again, it's, I mean, the, the car is so small to even do that. It doesn't make sense to me, but uh, each to his own. Um, you have a direct arrow, you have a recirc. I always leave it on auto, so if you hit it once, you'll see it's uh, direct. You hit it again, it's recirc, and if you hit it again, it's auto. And uh, I just leave it on auto. It, it circulates back and forth. I think it's the, the optimum way. Um, so just auto. It's already on auto here. Um, and then just control whatever temperature you want. So the only buttons I hit usually are auto off and maybe I adjust the temperature. Uh, that's about it. So I wanted to do a quick video on the uh, navigation. Um, basically when you're in nav mode, you're looking at your radio down here. And when you push it, you have your radio mode and you have your navigation uh, bar down here. When you're navigating, you'll see your next steps down here in green. And uh, if you want to look at your nav primary, you can just flip-flop going back and forth through that. Um, through the menu function, it brings you back to anything that you want to do audio-wise. And then you could always click the green button here and get ready to nav. Um, you can set anything you want from elevation, the time of day, to direction of travel, which is usually preferred, but you can change it if you want. Um, on the uh, speed, you have all the options of a trip. It uh, looks like you have a trip A and trip B and elevation, all these different metrics that you can kind of go through. Um, if you hit menu while you're there, obviously you go back and then you can hit the, the green bar to go back to navigation mode. Again, you have a split, split screen op option if you want, and then you have your audio and then your nav there, and then you can go back to it uh, through that. More menu keys. If you want to look at your trip computer or different map layouts and uh, again this is all in the uh, in the nav book but you can uh, see where so if we actually want to go somewhere we can hit the uh, back button because we were in view map mode now we want to select okay we want to go somewhere so you can select home um, right now it's set to my home but for you to reset it you'll hit this button here and it says set home location so wherever you are when you push that button that's where it's going to set the, the home location which is a nice uh, button you'll use that 50 percent of the time um, for addresses you can plug in any address uh, here it's all pretty self-explanatory it has a very good database of restaurants and shopping or categories but if you know where you're going you can just immediately um, put in the search bar uh, b the name of something and it'll start figuring it out for you. So right here it gives an example of pizza. So if I start putting in uh, pizza you'll see and I guess this is part two of navigation that uh, got cut off. Um, as you see I put in the word pizza and all of a sudden it's starting to pick up uh, local pizza places based on on that word. Um, if that's not exactly what you want you can uh, go back and put in an address or whatever but the search function is pretty handy and shows you pretty well uh, w what you need um, for categories again you can go through and it, it it'll show you everything you want if it doesn't come up in your search but it it should and uh, if it doesn't find exactly what you want then you go to the address function and uh, you'll find out um, and it'll just navigate to to, to that specific address you could always hit the back button, go back, and back to uh, the, your radio function if you want. I want to do a quick video on the uh, uh, radio controls. Um, basically, you're, you're really not going to use these because the way the radio was set up, uh, the functions have changed. Um, for the volume here, you want it full up, and you just leave it there. You're not going to control the volume uh, on the steering wheel at all. Um, also, these, which are usually for um, your radio to advance to the next station, um, they don't work either in the same way. These are actually your balance for your speakers, whether you want all the sound up forward or back. I've already balanced it, so I wouldn't touch this. Um, this set button is a preset for volume, which again is not set up uh, in the same way. If you hit this, the volume will go all the way down. So if you inadvertently hit this, what might happen is 
you're going to go to the volume buttons here. You can see the volume 1 through 3. Obviously, it goes much louder than that. But you might have the volume up and you're not going to hear anything. If that ever happens, you need to come down here and hold this volume button up for probably 20 to 25 seconds and just keep holding it. Um, and that way, that'll be at the maximum and then you'll control the volume uh, here with these two buttons. So that's just a note for uh, the steering wheel. Basically, don't touch any of this. All your uh, volume controls uh, is from the uh, uh, system down here.